Hey guys, Burnished here. Today I'm bringing you some Olaf commentary and uh, speed up a little bit here. Um, Olaf, uh, not really seen much as a jungler. Really seen as a top lane. Um, reason being is because at top lane you can get a lot more farm than in jungle and you can just generally get stronger, which is really what you need from an Olaf. You, you want him to be able to pop his ultimate, run through the team, and just kill the AD carry like that. I get a bad pull onto Wolves there by Gragas because he decides to uh, pull Wolves, which makes no sense, but okay. And so just doing the normal blue buff route, throwing them axes out. Um, but yeah, Olaf not really seen much as a jungler, which I really disagree with. I think he is a, an amazing jungler, simply because his early game pressure is absolutely insane, and he still has a role in team fights late game. Um, you'll see here the fact that uh, I can just spam my axes over and over again uh, it makes my clear speed absolutely insane. And those axes are really good for ganking as well, just because of the constant slow you can provide. Um, so yeah, it, it makes my clear speed like really, really good, like equivalent to an Udyr. Um Okay, now that couldn't knock quite that fast, but you know what I said, what I'm saying. Um, so basically, here I'm just farming up. Really, uh, I sort of want to get my ultimate as quickly as possible, or at least some more points. See, now I'm level four, so I put a point into Reckless Swing. Reckless Swing is going to be your main source of damage, and Singe gets a kill up top lane. So, uh, yeah, I was headed to top lane. I actually see Xin Zhao here. Um, I was lagging when uh, playing this game. So, uh, it says attempting to reconnect, but it always does that. Uh, so, I would have caught out Xin Zhao and probably got a kill on him. Um, but I was lagging a little bit. And, oh, hi, Xin Zhao. So, I throw the axe down, Reckless Swing, get a couple of auto attacks off, one more. And there we go. So, I do pick up the, uh, the kill. Uh, there's my axe because I was lagging. And this is where I'm closing down some programs. Uh, yeah, close down Firefox or Google Chrome. And, oh, I'm dead. GG. Okay, so that was terrible for me. Uh, I did lose red buff. Uh, blue buff had worn off. So, you know, not too bad. Uh, Vladimir goes ahead and executes himself, trying to kill our Gragas. So, you know, he's smart. Um, and so now looking to roam around to bot lane, see if I can pick up a kill and then go for that early uh, dragon. Uh, miss the axe down onto Corky, get some damage down onto him. Uh, Ash trying to pick up the kill and then also attacking the minion. I don't know why he almost dies there. If Sona had uh, had some balls, she would have flashed in and been able to do something. Uh, the reason why I wanted to pick up a kill there was so I could go for the dragon. Um, dragon, obviously, a very important objective in the game. You really want that gold, and the earlier you can get it, the much better. That's why I've picked up my instant, uh, pretty much Madreds. So it just makes me a hell of a lot stronger when fighting a dragon and uh, jungle mobs, for that fact. So I'm just going to skip through here. I'm going to go back to just farming my wraiths. And uh, pretty much that's all I'm doing. That's all you really ever do as a jungler. You just uh, you take both of your buffs. And then once they're down, you just kill wraiths or gank. Um, it's never really worth it to take the double golems. Right there, I do get the steal onto blue buff. Pop my ghost, uh, which is uh, sort of worth it. it. It is both my summoner spells down. But... To get out with their blue is absolutely amazing because that means I can feed the blue to Gragas uh, easily and that'll be all good. And uh, me getting out of there means I don't uh, give Jin Zhao any kills, which is really great because Jin Zhao, very strong early game, ridiculously strong if he snowballs. So, and uh, Olaf, a champion that um, I would usually pick Olaf if our mid was. Uh, no mana, as in if Ahmed didn't use mana at all and our top lane didn't really need uh, blue buff. Because then I can take blue buff as much as I like as Olaf, which is just so much better because it, it reduces your cooldowns and once you get um, once you get a brutalizer, your cooldowns go so low that you can just spam axes and it literally has no second no cooldown as long as you pick it up. So right here, Jin Zhao trying to counter gank the trying to get the blue and uh, so I do miss with the um, with the reckless swing there, still chasing him down, get the axes, he's just like prone to these axe hits. I go for the overload, the reckless swing there, and I miss because of the fog of war. I should have really seen that coming. Uh, that was a fail on my part, really. That just shows uh, why I'm not a pro player. Uh, stupid mistakes like that, but you know, it, it, he still has to go back, so it's not too bad, and we did but get uh, both of his buffs and I'm about to get my red buff. So that means we're going to be trading uh, three buffs for one basically. He only gets his red buff. Um, I suppose Vladimir doesn't really need uh, blue, but you know, that blue could really help Jinjao as well. Gragas being a douchebag, just stealing my ropes there. Uh, going to do some damage to red, take that red down. And uh, pings down here. This was a very bad play by me, I believe. 
Um, so I go down here and oh, hi, Blitzcrank, get a pull. No, you suck. So yeah, well, like, okay, uh, Sona's dead. This would be a perfect time to go do dragon. So I'm pinging it, I'm pinging it, I'm pinging it. I'm like, Ash, cool, come help me. Um, Ash, 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 yeah, I'm dead. So Ash decided not to join us. Um, I don't know why she was just pushing the lane instead of coming helping us at Dragon because we would have been able to take that down easily if she was there. Um, but I suppose, you know, what, what can you do? Solo queue and all that. Uh, so trying to get a gank on the mid lane. Mid lane's really pushed. The pull misses onto Sona there, so no gank there. Uh, still more pings going down onto dragon and I really want to take it because if you get dragon control you you get a massive control over the game and it means it, it makes it just makes the game a lot harder for them to make a comeback um, at the moment we're six and two so if we get dragon now even if they even if they get five kills so they're beating us in kills we still would have the lead because we have the gold advantage because of that dragon most likely unless we get like seven shutdowns in which case they could probably beat us in gold but anyway so I'm going for his wolves here, and he already took them, so I'm like, ugh. And basically, right now I'm camping around blue buff, and uh, this is something I don't see a lot of junglers doing, and if you do this, you just increase your game by a lot. So I put my ultimate here, just like, Vladimir could come to stop me, but he has no CC of, of his own, so I might as well just take down um, Xin Zhao, you know. Uh, unfortunately, I do die here, but I don't think I give the assist. Uh, to Jin Zhao. No, I do. So, bad trade-off there. I was just trying to stop Jin Zhao, and I uh, thought maybe Gragas could come over as well, but, you know, that was my my fault, really. I was in the bad position. I should have just ran away. But, nevertheless, uh, one thing that I was talking about, you really need to uh, plan your uh, just, just time things. So this is something that a lot of junglers sort of miss, but a lot of pro junglers have been using a lot more recently. Uh, I say recently, you know, within the last year. But, um, take a look at Odd One, for example. Uh, he times pretty much everything that he does. Uh, I time as well. I don't tell my team. Uh, it's probably something I can improve on and just start telling my team the timers because it means they can get into position as well. But I keep a mental note and you always got to think uh, 2, team has destroyed. two seven, twelve, nineteen. 7, 12, 19. Reason being, those are the blue or red timers, depending on which one the jungler did first. If the jungler did the uh, red buff second, let's say, then it would probably be about 3-4 minutes. So, let's just say it's 4 minutes. Then that means his next blue buff, his next red buff, will be spawning at 11 minutes. So if, I, if I'm at 11 minutes in the game, really want his, um, his red buff, and I just want to stop him from getting that buff, which means his ganks are going to be a lot worse, then I can easily just go and take it. So that's what I was doing sort of over there. I sort of misjudged the time actually. Uh, but he, I thought Jin Zhao most likely picking up Lu as his first buff. So that means about two minutes is when he's going to be taking it. So that means that at around nine minutes it will be, sorry not nine minutes, at about seven minutes it will be respawning. So that's how I managed to take the second blue. And that means at about 12 minutes it should be spawning as well. I believe they got the next blue. Um, I, don't, I don't think I managed to take it. So, it sort of sucks there. But, you know, at least trying for it. You can... Um, oh, that was a nice gank actually onto Vladimir. I think Gragas may have died there. Uh, the Ignite... If uh, Vladimir had ignited, he probably would have killed Gragas. But I don't, I don't know if he didn't have it up or something, but... So managed to take him down, nice kill there, and Gragas also survived, so that's always good. Throwing my axe in there, because I did see Corky and Sona going into that bush. A wonderful pull from the Blitzcrank onto the Sona. Easy kill there. N had no mana, didn't really have to use any mana. And uh, that's an Oracle's down on their team as well, so that's, that's the kill, which is about 300 gold, and uh, 400 gold from the Oracle, so that's insane. I pink ward there for the Drake, uh, just in case. They want to ambush us. Singed at the top, just uh, beast moding between his two towers, as you do as Singed. And Ash helps in this dragon, so we actually get to take it the time, which is great. Because uh, it was pretty much perfect timing. We did take down Sona, and Corky was on the run. Um, unfortunately, Singed looks like he's getting ganked at the moment, so let's get forward here. 
Now, if you look at my build, uh, this is generally the build you want to build. I've, I've found it works really well. Um, I sort of got it from Odd One, who got it from Nintendo Dex. So, you know, um, right here, Vladimir just played a little bit stupid there. And uh, he's about to... Uh, he did actually get the kill on Gragas, I think. Oh, no, actually, Gragas used his uh, Drunken Rage and picked it up uh, right here. It was, this wasn't lag, I just thought I could pick up the kill. I do manage to pick up the kill, but I lose my own life, so not really worth it. Um, got a bit too greedy there, so, you know, sort of thinking, yeah, I'm over that fucking TKO anyway. But, uh, you know, that was a bad move by me. Um, so, yeah, as I was saying, uh, the general build, you want to go for a Wriggles pretty much as first item. It just allows that extra uh, control over objectives. A little bit of a team fight going down there, and I managed to pick up Jace. I uh, can't really do much more, however, trying to follow Corky, and this Corky is a sneaky bugger, because um, you can see him running down there through river, trying to get an axe onto him, and he's like, he's going through the middle, so Gragas pings onto Gragas, trying to get him to move, and there he is, so he does get away, he uses flash though, so, you know, not too bad, that's a, a flash down on an AD carry, which can mean a lot in terms of positioning to him, so you know, pretty decent trade-off considering we didn't really use anything in particular to catch him. And we get this turret as well. Uh, in fact, I'm not sure if we do get this. Yeah, yeah, we get this turret. So, as I was saying about the build, you generally want to go with the Riggles first. Uh, Riggles obviously giving you that objective control, Dragon, Baron, and also helping with your clear speed. Uh, then you want to go for a Heart Gold. Uh, this can be built into a random wins later on in case uh, their AD carry just gets absolutely insane, and as well as Jace. Um, and the slow is pretty good too. You've got the Giant Spell, uh, sorry, the Brutalizer you want to build next. Generally, because it gives a lot of armor penetration early game. Armor penetration is something you really want to be maxing as an Olaf, uh, simply because you're... Uh, obviously your regular swing does true damage, but then you can also allow it for your axes to do true damage, and you'll be putting out a lot more damage with your axes than you will with regular swing a lot of the time. So, getting that armor penetration just means that you'll do a lot more damage. Um, after that, you want to be building uh, generally a warmongs, uh, a warmongs, a warmogs because the health is sort of needed on Olaf. You use a lot of health up with your abilities, like Relicless Swing. Um, so you want to be building that health. Also, looking at our team, uh, you know, we have Singed, so I have built enough damage to compensate for that because he is a bit of a tanky fella. And so we got two real main tanks, and that Warmog, uh, that Warmogs also helps me just to dive into the enemy team, just to pick off their AD carry and be like, you're coming with me. So um, I always do that. I never speed up while I'm talking. So we see Jace here, and I'm trying to catch him out. I actually missed with the axe, but Singe gets him, so Jace has to flash, which is really nice. Blitzcrank going man mode up in there, and um, so Vlad joins in, and Sona stun going down, completely obliterating um, Blitzcrank there. Vladimir goes down to Singe, and I'm just 1v1ing the Shinjo. He can't really do much, um, and so I do take him down. Uh, and then I also hit that Corky with the axe, which is really nice. And uh, I do pick him up, and I go down. So I do go down, I do take the AD carry with me though, so it's a pretty good trade. It means that our team can just push as much as they want. Um, and I have money so I can go back and buy stuff. Which is always good. And apparently Jace had uh, some connection issues. So I don't pick up the Warmog straight away, which I could have done. I do go for the Merc Treads because I obviously got CC'd by the Sona, maybe for a bit too long, and I don't want to risk any uh, prolonged slow. Um, right there, he does knock us away, and I think that's a bit of a, a failed gank, really, there. But no, actually, we go in for it. I forgot that bit. So we do go in for that, and Blitzcrank is going a bit too man mode there, and uh, we're just sort of trading blows. Nice pull onto Corky, but, uh, you know, more detrimental to... Blitzcrank than anything. And uh, I'm taking a lot of damage. I'm just poking down Corky at the moment. He goes extremely low just from my uh, undertow. And that just that, that's just why you build armor. Because it's such a long range poke ability. And the slow is just absolutely insane. It's, it's a really good all round ability. See as I was saying. I built the Merc Treads. Uh, just so I can get a bit more CC protection. Um, without my ultimate. So once I use my ultimate. I run through there. And as soon as that's down, I can be CC'd galore, which is really not what you want to do. Uh, so, 
and they do have a bit of magic damage. Uh, Jace does his fair share of magic damage. So does Vladimir. Uh, Corky a little bit. Sona a little bit. And I forgot who their juggler was. Jinjao. Okay, Jinjao doesn't do any, but you know it's just a generally good around all around boots. Uh, so we do destroy the turret, and trying to engage there. The Greg spell uh, not really working due to the pool, but that's as expected. So we're just trying to push this turret here. I get chunked a little bit hard here, I think. Uh, nice pull onto Jace there, so we're just going to initiate onto this. Perfect time to pop my ulti, really, um, because I would have taken less damage. And I'm just man-moding this turret here. Do go down, but Ash uh, uses the ultimate at exactly close range and just absolutely dominates Corky, and that is an ace for us. Uh, speed through a little bit. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, destroy the inhibitor. More minions pushing. So I'm going to go back and do some wraiths. Because I definitely need it right now. And so uh, here I actually... Uh, Singed gets caught here. Uh, you may not have been able to see it that well. Singed got caught in the dragon pit. They found him and they were trying to kill him. And so this is uh, me and Singed just trying to run away from them at the moment. And this just shows how strong we really did get. So I turn around this fight. We do have Ash. It's 3 versus 5. Now it's 3 versus 4. I pick up my axe. Throw the axe. Uh, Vladimir nearly goes down. I managed to get the auto attack on him. Throw the axe out. Hit Jin Zhao. Jin Zhao goes down as well. The pull from Blitzcrank onto Corky. He goes down. And I'm just chasing down Sona. And we pick up the 5 for nothing ace there. Which is absolutely insane. Uh, it just shows how sort of weak they are at the moment. Uh, because we were just able to turn a situation where it's a 5 versus 2. Uh, Singe got caught out and was down to about 20% HP. And we still managed to turn that around and just absolutely destroy the team. Now, obviously, with the Nexus turrets just open for the taking and no one respawning, that is going to be game. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this game and I hope you guys uh, enjoy these sort of games. Uh, I did get a couple of dislikes on my last one uh, when I was jungling. And uh, so I don't know what you guys think. Please do leave in the comments because that really does help. I'm trying to get back casting, uh, but uh, Lee... Uh, LOL Replay is really not liking me at the moment. It's not allowing me to do any old replays, so I can't do any from IPL Face Off San Francisco. So, you know, that's really depressing and I can't really do much about it. Uh, so, it's pretty much either I find new games to cast or I continue with that series once LOL Replay is working. I think what I'll do is I'll go pick a high ELO player when they're in solo queue and I'll cast that game. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you all next time. Remember to leave a comment below. Thank you.